Hi guys, so I'm back today with my April favourites being super organised and filming it early. Um, to take a moment and accept the fact that April is over. Like, how has this happened? It was not that long ago that I was filming my March favourites and being like, oh yeah, April favourites, ages away. No, it's here and I can't believe that. So I'm very sad about that, but also I'm just stunned quite frankly about how fast time's going but really I seem to end up rambling at the beginning of these videos I can't introduce a video properly apparently that's that's my downfall so as I say we'll get straight into the video but I've rambled and I'm still going okay April favorite So, first product that I've been really, really loving throughout April is my collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in Light number two. Basically, all of the writing has rubbed off this because it's been in my makeup bag for a while, but this has just got the standard doe foot applicator, and this is also something that is raved about on YouTube all the time because it is amazing. The coverage on this is great, and the price tag just makes it 10 times better for me because it's £4.19 in Boots and Superdrug and I'm sure anywhere else that it might be sold. Um, and really, you cannot go wrong for that price. There are better... better? No. There are worse concealers for higher price than that. So I definitely recommend the Lasting Perfection Concealer from Collection. Next product is my Urban Decay Naked Palette. I think I featured this in my October favourites um, and I am still loving it. It's actually come in sort of more use than it ever has before for me because I'm using it every day to do my eyebrows. I'm using um, Naked, just this one here. And it's just great for doing eyebrows so I really love that. Of course, all the eyeshadows in there to use as eyeshadows are amazing. Um, I just, I can't say enough good things about this palette and I would definitely recommend it. The only thing about this is the price tag for me because it's £36 and for a high-end beauty product, I mean, it is worth it, but price is quite a big thing to me being like a student, so yeah. But that is a great product, so loving that. My next product is the Real Techniques Core Essentials Brush Set. Now I promise... I'm going to clean these afterwards and that was my task but I felt like oh, I might as well just show them first so they are dirty please excuse that just use them not gonna deny it so let's just talk you through each brush individually um the contour brush within this one is one I use for blush and it is amazing all of them are so soft lovely to use. this is my first professional brush set so I'm really happy with it. Um, I use this one for blush and it's perfect for just applying it along the apples of your cheeks. I'm sure you could use it for its actual main purpose of contouring. But instead I use my uh, buffing brush, which is a bit misshapen at the moment, um, for contouring. And I use my little finger just to highlight on my cheekbones. Um, this one, the buffing brush, I've been using just to buff powder into my skin, um, just to set my makeup. And I think it works really nicely. This is a great brush, it's quite versatile. And um, I know that even Pixie Woo use their brushes for other purposes than what they're stated on the brush. And I love that about them. They're really good to use just for multi-purpose. Um, it also has a foundation brush in here, which is a bit gross. Needs cleaning. They all do. Um, and that's great also because it's also quite defined. So you can really work it into your skin. And I really like that about them. I don't use that one as much because I use my fingers to apply my foundation. But when I have used that, I've been quite impressed with it. And then finally um, is the detailer brush. And this one can be used on eyes or lips to get really sort of detail as you would expect. And I think I quite like this one as a lip brush. And um, I don't really do much to my lips, to be honest, on a day-to-day -day basis. I just um, throw on a colour, usually a pretty standard pink like this one. But when I'm using like a red or something, I think it's quite important to get it quite defined. And that detailer brush can work really well with it. And it also comes in a very handy travel case. So I love that as well. Um, on the topic of brushes, I've also really been enjoying my Barry M angled brush. It just looks like this. This I've been using to do my eyebrows every day and I think it's great, as I say, just to get the detail and precision that you need. Um, and I think using an eyeshadow and an angled brush is much better than using a pencil. It just looks a lot more natural, but at the same time you can still achieve that finished and, you know, presentable look almost. It's just groomed. Groomed. Let's go with that. And um, I really like the colour of it as well. It's always a bonus to me. 
Uh, next product is my Sleek Face Form Contouring Palette. Love it. Love it. Let's just say that. The colours in all this, so pigmented. The blush is called Rose Gold and it is beautiful and it's, I think it's going to look really nice with the tan because it's very coral and I think coral suits tan skin and it's also got a lot of gold shimmer in it which is going to look so pretty when reflected with the light I think so I'm really looking forward to trying that in summer. Then you've got the highlighter in here which is beautiful, just really nice. Um, just swatch the blush for you as well, that one there and then the contour is the perfect contour shade I think because it is not too muddy or too orange it's perfect it's better than the NYC one that I've shown before I really love this and it's so so compact and nice packaging and a big mirror and I can't say enough good things about this it was cheap as well it was like 9.99 or something and three good quality products in there um for the price it's just amazing love it I'd so recommend that and I just can't say enough good things about it I'm really excited about sleek and I'd love to try some more of their products so keep your eyes peeled a uh, final beauty type product is uh, my simple kind of skin replenishing rich moisturizer now before this I've been using the light moisturizer because I've got sort of combination oily skin and I thought light is probably going to be better for you you don't really want rich creams on your skin. Turns out that's not the case with these ones because the light one actually has oil in it and this one does not. Um, so I've been finding this does a lot more for my skin. It provides a really nice base when I apply my foundation and just gives you sufficient moisture to last throughout the day. And this one's also really cheap as well. There's a running theme here, I like my bargains, but I don't really think you can go wrong with it if it's cheap and it works. Like obviously some things you have to pay the extra for to get the sort of good price um, and the good quality not good price, good quality, um, but this is not one of them, this is I think something that is really good and definitely appropriate for people of my age because you just need a basic moisturiser that works and is cheap and that's certainly something. And my final product is a bit of a random one that I've just thrown in here and it's a hair donut. Yeah, um, I think this has been something that I've started to use a lot more because I wanted to just start doing more with my hair um, and I really wanted to always know I've always wanted to know how to achieve a top knot and my hair just doesn't allow to do it, it just doesn't, it doesn't hold, it doesn't stay in place um, and so like I've been trying to just wrap it round in a ponytail and then pin that in place and it just isn't having any of it whereas with this it has some structure and more volume anyway and a bit more body and then you just pin it in place and you're good to go. Um, I've worn this in a couple of my videos as well and I just really like it. I think it can be something that's dressed up and dressed down and I love things that have multi-purpose. It's brilliant. Um, and I don't know much how, how much more you can say about a hair donut. I think I've probably covered them all. This was £1.50 from Primark I believe. You can get them like pretty much anywhere. So um, yeah, really like that. And I think that concludes yeah, it concludes my April favourites. So they're all the products that I've been loving throughout April. I'd love to hear what yours are, so if you'd like to leave a comment down there, feel free to. Um, please like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and if there's anything else you'd like to see from me, just send me a message, or again, leave a comment. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and that you've had a lovely day. Bye! Hi guys, so I'm back today with my April favourites being super organised and finish, finishing. Ugh. Oh my god, and now I'm filming my April favourites. Let's just take a moment. Take a moment. Okay, moment over. No. No. Oh, why can't I talk today? I would deck definite I would definitely